If you're not using Quora to promote your YouTube videos, then you don't know what you're missing. Hey, and welcome back to Mind and Marketing. Now, today I'm going to go through how you can use one of my favorite platforms called Quora to promote your YouTube channel and videos. Now, if you remember way back when, it was literally only a month ago, who do I think I am? Um, but anyways, one of my old videos, I mentioned that one of the ways that I come up with content ideas is through using Quora. Now, if you don't know what Quora is, let's get a little refresher course. Okay, so Quora is basically a question and answer website where real people go in and ask questions and other people give answers. But one thing that most people actually don't know is that Quora is one of the top ranked websites in the world. Yeah, it's huge. Quora is number 80 global and 69 in the States. <laughs> Don't don't make it don't make a joke about that. Just let let it go. So you may be thinking, well, what does that have to do with me and my channel? Well, since it is so highly ranked, as you can see, it will most likely show up on top in search rankings on Google. This is very important to note, so I'm going to go into how you can use this to your advantage a little bit later. Now, Quora is not just where I get some content ideas, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video. It is also one of the places I use to promote my channel, YouTube videos, blogs, which by the way, I did a soft launch of my new website and you can find that link in the description now for my blog I've gotten results like these I'll just click over to my stats over here stats and you can see now I'm just gonna go ahead and say I've been on Quora since about October I believe 2020 so these are the stats that I've gotten for just my answers in the last 30 days my answers have gotten 1.2k views on Quora six of votes no shares, which I mean, it's it's okay. <laughs> I know you're thinking, holy cow, a thousand K is good, but you can actually do a lot better on Quora. I haven't written anything on Quora in the past 30 days. So these are actually all answers that I've answered months ago. And that's the big thing with Quora, which I'll go through a little bit later in the video. So if you want to see my all time stats, which I haven't checked in a while. Okay, all time for my answers since October, yeah, October 2020. As you can see, I was a lot more active when I just started and I have like these bursts of where I'm like super active and I answer a lot of questions, post a lot of things and I get really good returns on them. So these are just for the answers, but if we look at all of my content in general, 24,000 views since October. So that's actually pretty good, I would think, uh, for the fact that I was basically off of it from November to February, kind of off and on, and even now, I'm not posting as much. Uh, now, I have used this for YouTube as well, but there's no way for me to separate the content on Quora from my blog and from YouTube, so I can I can only show the general stats. But there are two main ways to share your videos on Quora. One of them I recommend highly, the other one, one is a bit tricky so let's just start with the one that is a bit tricky <laughs> and that is Quora spaces so you go over here click spaces oh look I have an invite yay um, as you can see I've joined a lot of spaces now there are some spaces that I've been a part of for months and there's a few that I've joined only last month because I've been testing this out a little bit uh, so I'm just gonna start off by saying that Quora is really easy to join I really don't feel like I have to show you guys how to sign up it's super easy to join there's no like approval process or anything you just join uh, if you clicked on this is a home page if you click down here discover spaces you'll see that you come to the spaces page where it gives you a bunch of suggestions suggestions on different spaces that you can join. Now, these spaces on Quora kind of work like subreddits. So you can join these spaces usually with no hassle, but sometimes you will have to go through an approval process for the spaces. It's kind of like with Facebook groups. Some spaces allow you to share content with no problem at all, whereas others have their own contributors, uh, which are the people who are allowed to post and audit the post requests and are kind of in charge of the spaces. Now, which spaces you join will play a major role in how well this process is going to work for you. Let's say you are in woodworking, for example. Uh, what you're going to do is want to go into spaces for woodworking. So you can directly up here just type woodworking and you will see it comes up as space this is a topic so this is like a question that someone asked but when it says space these are the names of the spaces for woodwork so once you find the spaces that work for you you can for example click this one and here you have one of the spaces for woodworking up here you can see how many followers are following the space 
how many posts you can expect to see per week. You can see the space has 115 contributors, which is a lot. <laughs> These are people that post on the space and kind of keep the space active, so to speak. So you can just go up here and say follow space. Usually you can also apply to be a contributor if they let you apply. Uh, now what you want to do is actually check if people are posting things in those spaces or if you need to be a contributor to be able to post so if you need to you might have to ask to be a contributor make sure you're joining spaces that are active you don't want to join any spaces that are dead that's just a waste of time and nobody wants that so make sure when you get into these spaces you see that people are upvoting if you're familiar to reddit then you know what upvotes are look at the times and the dates that people are writing this was on monday so it seems like this page right here is pretty active so this would be a space that I would like to join if I were in the woodworking niche. Uh, now, once you are in, I do highly recommend that you engage with others first before sharing other things. Start engaging, reading, commenting, responding, asking questions, you know, really get a feel for the vibe of the group and talk to people first. Now, when it comes to spaces, there are spaces for almost anything on Quora, whether you're a gamer, a foodie, political debater, I don't know, celebrity gossip, or you name it, you'll find a space for it. Now, I have been testing some YouTube groups on Quora this past month. I joined these spaces and they're specifically for YouTubers. And this is kind of where my red flag comes in. They're not the best. I mean, there is a YouTube space, but when it comes to these other YouTuber spaces, they're meh, okay? They're just not that, they're not that good. They really didn't give me much. It's not because like it's sub for sub, although I was, I'm kind of iffy on this one. I don't, I didn't post much on this because I, mm, it, it was sus. There's just no engagement. I get nothing from them when it comes to connection and engagement. And when I try to engage with other people, I get nothing in return. People literally like, dump their links and run and that just doesn't work for me i need to feel like i'm able to engage and speak with people and i'm sharing content and they're sharing theirs and it's like a give and take kind of thing no offense to anyone who owns these spaces they just don't work for me all right and finally the creme de la creme what you've all been waiting for cora answers this is one of my favorite ways to share content on cora it's through answering questions. You can literally find people asking questions about everything on Quora. If we look up, for example, oh, of course, Minecraft because it's so pretty. <laughs> I just said Minecraft is pretty. Oh God, what's wrong with me? Okay, so you can see you have spaces. So you already have spaces for Minecraft on Quora. If you just press search Minecraft, you'll get up a bunch of answers and spaces and everything in between. What you wanna do is click by type, you filter it, answers. Okay, so now you have all of the answers that people are asking that have to do with Minecraft. Some of them are from spaces, some of them are just people just hopping on asking questions. So I wanna have a little bit more relevant. So I'm gonna say questions that were asked the past month and here you go so now i have a bunch of questions here that are pretty fresh to ask this month that people are looking for answers for now listen carefully when you have found the questions that you would like to answer what you should do first is answer the questions but do not start sharing your links just yet okay you should be answering questions without sharing links for about a week on quora before you start sharing your videos and the reason for this is because if you just go and start sharing your links, Quora may flag you as a spammer and you may get blocked for a few weeks or even permanently banned. And we do not want that, okay? It's very much a give and take, which is one reason why I like it. You give value first. Engage and discuss to show Quora that you will be a valuable member of the platform. And then after a week or so, then you can start sharing your links. And even when you do start sharing your links, I usually have a ratio of a three three to one, meaning for every three value answers that I give, I only share my link once. I mean, it's actually very important. Not every answer that you give should have a link in it, okay? Because that is going to start looking sus. Uh, and don't just run around dumping a link, you know, at least explain something, write a nice hefty paragraph or something before you just go and dump your link, okay? Uh, so for example, you can see, is 16 too old to be playing Minecraft? This is something that you can answer without having to share a link. This person answered this pretty 
you in depth. That's nice. You don't have to, but this is a nice way to answer on Quora. What are five things in Minecraft that you would add to the real world? Let's say maybe you had a video. You can be like, I actually made a video about this. Here's a link to that video. Now this answer is actually pretty good. You can see that this answer alone got over 6,000 views and 129 upvotes and a couple of shares and a few comments and this was only posted june 10th minecraft good dudes i think we need to hop on this like if this person had added a link to their youtube content as well uh, in this question they could have gotten a heck of a lot of views just from this one answer now remember how i mentioned that quora ranks in google well this is where it gets interesting because the answers that are written on quora come up as search results on google let me show you what i mean if i copy this and as you can see the top one search query that comes up is from Quora. Quora ranks super easily on Google so writing or answering on Quora is it's an almost sure way to get organic views from Google. So this means that if someone goes on Google and searches something for example this question Quora will pop up they will see your answer to that question as well and if you reference your channel in that answer that person may go on and watch your video. Now the nice thing about Quora is that the answers can come up in search results years down the line okay especially with Quora I get answers that are like from 2014 as you can see also like from my stats that I showed you earlier all of these views that I got this month from my content are things that I answered months ago I know when I answered this question specifically that that was in October I remember this being one of the first questions that I answered on Quora hopefully if you play your cards right you can get views years down the line bringing you some nice organic traffic now that was the video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave a comment comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.